Oke pilih Good morning friends. Welcome to the farm once again. It's kind of a beautiful morning. I don't know. It's kind of quiet here on the farmstead and all the snow's been melting. It's not too nippy today. Definitely a good day to get a whole bunch of stuff done. I don't know. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride and you know there's not a whole bunch going on in the winter on farm so trying to continue keeping things interesting. I have a bunch of odds and sods to get done today. Gonna let the cats out, of course. Got my two sheep dogs here. Olive, come here. <laughs> There's Olive. I don't know where Molly is. She's off. Molly! There she is. She's over there by the plum trees. <laughs> so hang around for a while. We're gonna get some of the animals done. We're gonna get a bunch of odds and sods done and it's gonna be a fun day. Hey buddy, how are ya? How are ya? Come here. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Hey, you little panther. There's a bunch of geese. Canada geese and they're flying V. Those geese are getting ready to fly south. They're wondering what's going on with this strange warm weather too. They should have already been down in Florida by now. Before I go ahead and let the chickens out, I wanted to scoop up a load of gravel to put down in front of the drive shed and the new workshop because it's getting a little muddy in a couple spots. Early this morning I was at the feed store. I shop at PV Mart in Aurelia and I stocked up on a whole bunch of poultry feed and rabbit food because I was getting low on both. So I'll be taking care of that a little bit later but for right now I guess I'll let the Rhode Island Reds out today. <laughs> Fozzie keeps following me. Look at him. He's literally following me every step I take. He loves me that little guy. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't come out with all the other cats. You guys coming out? It's like he waits for me to call him out. <laughs> this is Big Red, everybody. A lot of you already know him. He's the leader of our Rhode Island Red Flock. He's our one and only rooster. And he's a pretty cool rooster. He doesn't never attack me, not once. But he's been having a little bit of trouble with his flock. And what I mean by that is, if you look at his back feathers right here, it's like it's raw. Like it's almost down to the skin right there. And I don't know, I kind of feel like it's a continued problem with one of the hens being a peck artist. Pecking and pecking and he's <laughs> losing feathers out of his tail. I like him, he's a cool roux. I don't want to lose him, so I may have to separate him again. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. In addition to that, look at the size of his spurs. You see those spurs right there? They're like three inches. They're like three inches, literally. So I'm a little bit concerned that he's having a difficulty walking. I've noticed that he's not roosting. So I don't know, I, I think I need to learn how to break those off and let them start to regrow. I've heard some of you guys talk about it. If some of you have any tips on that, please help me out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to watch some other YouTube videos about it. 
uh, somebody said you just put it into a raw potato and twist it. Somebody else said you just break it off with pliers, but I'm worried about hurting the poor guy. I've never cut his spurs once. He's au natural. Still working on this goose. It's been, I don't know, a few days since I've harvested the other one and he's calmed down a lot. He, he's not really squawking too much and I'm, I don't know, I, th I hopefully I'm onto something here that he's gonna chill out. I feel like it's a lot less stressful with that two geese not being so rambunctious. Before I take that load down, let's see if we can get the ducks out in the orchard. It's nice enough weather that they can go, so there's no snow left. Ah, a little bit of snow on the mountain, but hardly any. It's nice and clear. Ducks are doing very well. They're all, you know, looking pretty healthy and strong and I mean they're ready for the winter. They haven't laid any eggs in a while, but that's okay. Let's give them a little rest. They'll start up again in the spring and really have an egg boost. Do you guys hear the crying cat? That's Fozzie. He's just over on the other side of the garden and he's crying like a baby. You hear him? I can see him, he's right there. He's crying, he goes, rawr, rawr. it's like he doesn't want to be alone. <laughs> what a big baby. Ozzy, what are you doing? Come here, buddy. Come here, come on, Fuzzy. What are you crying for? What are you crying for? You don't want to be alone? You want to play with the ball? Let's take this load of gravel so I can dump the gravel and I need to get rid of all that feed so I need to dump this gravel first. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie the barn cat came down here. Maybe she's trying to get into my new workshop. She's right there playing with Olive. <laughs> Billy! <laughs> How you doing, Billy? You okay? You okay, Billy? Good girl. Huh, Billy? Good girl, huh? You're looking good for the winter. Hey, you gained a lot of weight. You're hairy. Hey, little one. Hello. Hello. 
Good girl. That's it. Oh no, you guys are so muddy. Oh my God, look at the mud. That's because it's been raining so much. Oh my Lord. Hey, get off your daddy. That's why Bobby's so dirty. Oh my gosh. You guys are dirty pigs. Dirty pigs. Oh man, that one of the sons of Bobby keeps jumping on his back trying to mount him. Wait, he doesn't know that that's his daddy? <laughs> Crazy pigs, they're so dirty. Oh my Lord. Gotta hose them down, but it's too cold for that. <laughs> I never did get a chance to clean out the gutters on the Century Farmhouse here. You know, it gets filled up with leaves and gunk and twigs. And when the snow's melting on top of the roof, you want the water to be able to drain properly. You don't want it backing up. So I'm going to take care of that today since it's such nice balmy weather. It's a disgusting job. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, great, starting to drizzle. Why is it there's Fozzy? <laughs> Why is it that every time I have a nice day off to film, it's going to rain or snow or something? When does it end? I'm trying to film. <laughs> Maggie! Mango! Tango! Don't let bubbles out. Okay. Good boy. Chuck! Give it a few minutes. We'll see what happens. Sir, I see you, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I got Maggie. She's baking air biscuits again. <laughs> I got you, Maggie. I got you. <laughs> oh. Dexter's down there too. Dexter! Come on, Dex. Come on, buddy. Dexter! Let's go, it's raining now. Come on. Dexter, Mango. Dexter! Oh, there's Mango. Mango! Oh, come here, bud. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Where's Tango? Good boy. Where's Chunk? Let's find Chunk. Whenever Mango gets in the catio first, he always, always, always calls out for his sister, Tango. He really misses her and he wants her to come back, you know? But they don't stay together when they're out hunting. They get separated. But then he's calling for her to come home. So sweet. There's Tango down there. See her? Tango! I see ya! Let's go! Time to get in! Tango! Come on, Tango. Come on, girly. Hey, Chunk. I found Chunk. Mm. Gotta be fast with Chunk. He's an escape artist. <laughs> Got all the cats.
all these purple bags of feed are rabbit pellets. That's what we feed our rabbits as a main diet and we supplement with Timothy hay and of course we give them some fruits and vegetables whenever we can. This is supposed to be under here to catch all the hay. How are you guys doing? You okay there, bud? How about you? You okay? <laughs> Rabbits do extremely well in the cold weather. It's like they hardly ever stay inside. The buck's area here is not that bad, eh? Because he's just one. But all these other rabbits that live out here there's a lot of poop here. And look, they're digging and digging and digging, but they can't get out because there's fencing all underneath. But it doesn't stop them from digging. Jeez Louise. Hello, rabbit. Top up the duck's food. It's just getting a little bit empty. There we go, three bags will do it. That's enough. Duck food is done. There's a coyote. Olive's going crazy. It's a small, skinny little coyote. Good girl. Hey, good girl, huh? Good girl. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I think the coyote was hiding in here in the horse stall because, uh, you know, it's raining today. <laughs> That's a skinny little coyote. I don't like coyotes hanging around though, not in the daytime, but that coyote is even smaller than Olive. So there's no pressure <laughs> for these dogs to handle that kind of a coyote, even though they're sheep dogs. Olive, come. Okay, back to the chicken house. I gotta get that food in and I'm losing daylight. Gotta get my butt moving. One, two, three, four, five, six bags, two bags, and one. Six, two, and one. Haven't even checked the eggs yet. There we go. One, two. I like mixing some of the feed, you know? This one has really big chunks, lots of seeds, and it's 17% uh, protein. This is, I think, 16% protein, but it also has a lot of grains and it's good, it's good food. This bag right here is $22. This bigger bag right here is $29.99. And of course, that's Canadian dollars, right? Oh, there's a couple of eggs down there. Three eggs. It looks like all the chickens are in here already. I better go close the door. Okay, let me get out here and get the door closed before the chickens catch me. Sorry guys. <laughs> You're in. Hopefully there's no more out. Let's check. 
<laughs> you know, the good thing about chickens is that they kind of put themselves to bed. Ooh, the ducks are still out and the guard goose is out. That's okay. They're easy to put away. They just corral it easy. Oh, there's one duck inside there. How did he get in there? How did you get in here, duck? Hey? How did you get in here, duck? Okay, let's go. Out! Out! Where are you going? There you go. I think that duck must have came in through the Rhode Island red door and then he snuck underneath here because there's a little bit of a gap under there, eh? That's how he ended up in Michael Jackson's coop. Hey guys, to Lugana. To Lugana, guys. Good job. You guys, you want a little top up? Okay, that's not really a top up. I should get you a bucket. Hey, okay, I should get you a full bucket. Olive, are you going to help me put the ducks to bed? Let's go. They're all waiting for us. Yeah, they're waiting for us. They all want to go to bed. Tulugana, ducks. Tulugana. You too, guys. Good job. Whoa. Whoa. Tulugana, ducks. Do look at that! Do look at that, ducks! Do look at that! Good job, Olive. Good job. You a good girl? Okay, you guys got lots of fresh food.
I think we did pretty darn good. This tree, this tree basically was broken by a storm about last year in the springtime. And it's been sitting hung up like that ever since. So now that all the leaves are gone and I'm able to drive my tractor in the hay field, I thought it'd be really fun to come out here and get this kind of bucked up for firewood. Oh man, it's getting dark. I gotta pack it in. Don't wanna get eaten by the coyotes. It's just the guys giving the horses some hay. Let's just check on these chickens, make sure they're roosting okay. Okay? Yeah, everybody's roosting, everybody's roosting. Even the new flock's roosting. How about Elvis? Hey, that one guy down there is not roosting. It's got lots of roost bars. Why is he not roosting? Five eggs today, people. That's the final count. Molly, you okay? Where's Olive? Molly, where's Olive? Olive, where are ya? What are you doing? Come here. What? You okay? You okay? You missed me? You're okay, right? <laughs> Get this all ready to, you know, split some more firewood. Firewood is a never ending thing. I want to get those logs though before the snow comes back. Right now we have a little period with no snow. So I told my darling, I said, I'm going to be late tonight and I'm going to film a video. <laughs> so everything you do on the farm takes five times as long because you're filming it. <laughs> I love it though. I love sharing this kind of stuff with you guys. It's so cool. <laughs> All the cats must be inside. Mango! You're fogging up the glass. Not very often you get to see the property at night. I thought it'd be fun to do like a dusk till dawn video, you know? <laughs> but it's not even that late. It's just after five o'clock right now and it's pretty dark. Like the sun goes down over there, but over there it's pretty dark, you know? Dogs are going nuts. There could be coyotes out here. How do we know? <laughs> Olive's doing a good job though. <laughs> 